this is only um, roughly two weeks, two and a half weeks of checks. This pile of paper shows the need for utility relief in Greensboro. If I had to categorize them and put them in order, I would say high water bills, then high Duke energy bills, then high internet bills. Collection grace periods are expiring, past due bills accumulating. Greensboro Housing Coalition Executive Director Josie Williams says maintenance issues like the water leak behind this $3,300 bill are also driving costs sky high. When your water gets cut off, that's grounds for condemnation. So we can't have people out here with their water getting cut off due to non-payment because they can't afford it. And in this case, this was no fault to her own. This was a maintenance issue that she tried to remedy to no avail. The east and southeast districts in Greensboro are where the majority of calls for rent and utility relief are needed. I think people are getting beyond their fear of asking for help. I think there is such a desperation that's building that people are now saying, please help me. Nearly all of Williams' clients are working to support their families. We're talking about children that are having to work from uh, home a lot of times. We're talking about a lot of remote workers. People need that internet on and people are at risk of getting that, which is affecting their financial stability if they can't work. The nonprofit is providing emergency relief, speaking directly to property owners. If you have a property and you are struggling to maintain the property, which is causing someone to live in substandard housing, then you don't need to be renting out the property.